Hey, it's Lane from ERCast. I'm here with my non-invasive positive pressure ventilation. I'm thinking pre study. Now, we did a deep dive on this. It's a special episode. Check out the link below for all of the details. But I'll just be honest, man. For me, this is a practice-changing paper when it comes to pre patients who we then go on to intubate. But changing practice, changing how we do things can be scary. And I always wonder, when is the time to change? And so I've been thinking about in my practice and a lot of our practices, what would be barriers to doing this immediately on our next shift? One of the things that comes up, which is valid, is what about the risk of aspiration? So we know that sick patients can aspirate. In the Preoxy study, they found that the rates of aspiration, whether you're on the face mask or non-invasive, were low in both groups, but actually lower in the non-invasive group. So if you're not doing non-invasive positive pressure ventilation for preoxygenation, don't let aspiration risk be the thing that keeps you from doing this. I think this is a game changer. Time to change things up for the sake of our patients.